Hey, what's going on, guys? I'm Shastark HD, and this is a tutorial on what I use and would probably be very beneficial to you to use when recording and editing YouTube videos. So, um, what I use is DX Story. I I had a video in the past where I said that I used Camtasia down here, but that was whenever I had a crappy computer. And but what I did notice is that Camtasia records emulator files a lot better than using like a DX Story or stuff like that. I don't know why, but so if you're recording like an emulator, I recommend Camtasia, but for like everything else, like Left 4 Dead or Minecraft or anything like Portal or any of the stuff I have over here, I would use DX Story. I'm not going to go over Fraps because Fra Fraps is pretty much just uh, DX Story without all the options. So yeah, so onward to DX Story. I like DX Story because you can pick like where you want the, uh, to save your files or anything. Like I have all these different things. And, uh, I have all, you can change all the hotkeys to what you want. Uh, you can pick, like, how many frames per second you want, file format, if you want to include the mouse, pick, like, the size of the screen that you want to record, like, 100 or 50%, you know. The problem with the x is, kind of like Fraps, is that it records all files into, like, AVI, so they're, like, humongous. So, uh, like, a 10-minute video could be, like, 20 gigs big, which is ridiculous in my opinion so what I use is I found this codec right here it's pretty much an mp4 codec so I recommend that uh, the X story costs 3600 I think that's Japanese yen is what that stands for which is pretty much uh, 36 US dollars I don't know about like UK and all that stuff because I don't know euros and stuff <laughs> but uh so and that's pretty much all I got with that so it's pretty cheap for a audio recording software. And then for the codec, I went to this website. It says download by 264 encoder here. Just click right there. It'll open up a tab. Click download. There you go. It's very simple. Uh, it makes the files really, really smaller. And next we're going to go to the audio. It, it The default is PCM, and it usually stays on here at 4800 megahertz, 16 bit stereo. But if you want like a smaller file still, even more, then right here, download MP3 lame. So then you just go here. I pick 48 megahertz or not megahertz, 48,000 hertz, 320. I don't know what kbps, maybe kilobyte per second. Yeah. So that's what I chose, and I don't record my audio with the X Story, but we'll get to that later. You can take screenshots, set up all the settings that you want for it. There's just so many options, and that's why I like the X Story. We're gonna close that out. That out, and next, next we're gonna go to what I record my voice with. I use Audacity, which is a completely free program, so just go down the description, all the links will be there, and just click download. There you go. I wanted to show you like how to like edit a little bit in here, but I can't because I'm recording with Audacity, my voice with Audacity right now. And if I start clicking stuff in here, then it's gonna like stop my recording because I just did that a minute ago whenever I did this whole thing. <laughs> so uh, you just click record right there, record your voice, but why I like Audacity is my, like, my microphone could pick up, like, the sound of my computer, my computer fan, because it's kind of loud, and the fan in the background, and so you would hear, like, and, uh, that's really, really annoying, so I would go up here to effect, and go to select, so I don't talk the first few seconds of my video, and then I start talking, or, or before I start recording the actual video, and just to pick up the quiet noise in the background. So I highlight that, click noise removal. It should say get sound profile. Click that, and after that, click control A to select the entire thing. Go back to here, noise removal, click OK, and it'll get rid of all this like stupid background noise that's really loud and annoying that no one likes. So that's why I like Audacity. Uh, so we're done with that. Next we're gonna go to Camtasia Studio. This is a really, really expensive one. It's 299 US dollars, so pretty much 300. But, uh, so it's really, really expensive. There are, like, other means of getting it for free. They may not be legal, but if you want to find out about that, just search it somewhere else. And, uh, but I'm not going to go over that. But it's really expensive, but I don't really use it to record unless I'm recording an emulator. Uh, main reason why is because the X-Story works a lot better, like I said in the beginning. So I'm just going to close that. But I do use Camtasia Studio 
to edit all my videos. So like, let's click import media. I'll add in my intro. All right. When you add a, your first video file in here, this will pop up. You can get to like choose what dimensions you want. So even if you don't have like record in HD, you can just set it to the dimensions. Press OK, and there you go. So go play. It shows you a little preview right there. It's kind of loud, but all right. Next, I'm gonna uh, let's put my outro in here. So I'll put that right there. You can like put it like immediately after. So I turn this down a little bit. So go over right here, click play. Alright, and that goes immediately to the next one. What you can also do is, if you think it's a lot loud, like way too loud, or if your voice is really quiet, when you put your audio in here, you can like volume down or volume up, and it like boosts your volume, your like voice or the volume that you're trying to boost, and all that stuff. So that's why I like recording Camtasia. A lot of people use Sony Vegas. But that's confusing for me because I'm not like hardcore editor and all that stuff. So I just use Camtasia and Camtasia renders faster. I th I'm pretty sure in my opinion because whenever I re rendered with Sony Vegas before, it took like two hours to render a 10 minute video. But when I use Camtasia, it only takes like 30 minutes. But the ex er, but Sony Vegas does have a lot more editing stuff and it makes it more smooth all that stuff. But I'm no hardcore editor, so I just use Camtasia. It works just fine for me. Uh, the X or not the X story. <laughs> uh, Sony Vegas is also really expensive. I think it's like four six hundred dollars. Like really expensive. I think like ridiculous expensive. But you can in Camtasia you can add like your own little transitions and stuff. Like let's throw in a wheel right here. So right before it goes to this, it's gonna do like this little wheel thing right there, and uh, you can add like little annotations. So like, drag it over here, blah blah blah, you shrink it down and stuff. You've probably seen a few of these in my videos if you watch them often, and uh, just so I don't have to put annotations in there later, and uh, so it just like slowly fades in right there, and after a minute or two, it'll just fade out. <coughs> Sorry about that. And uh, yeah, that's what I, I used to edit all my videos with. I think that's pretty much it. Go over through, yeah, we went through Dick Story, Audacity, where you can get all the stuff. So yeah, that's pretty much it. That's what I use record with. I recommend you guys record with it too, because it works great. And uh, yeah, that's it. I'm ShadowStarkRC. Thank you so much for watching. Please leave a like, subscribe. And leave a comment down below with like a tutorial vid that you want to see like in the future. I'll go over any tutorial as long as it's like humanly possible and like not rocket science to do. <laughs> but yeah, I'm thinking about doing some Cinema 4D uh, tutorials in the future. So once I learn how to use it a lot better, so look forward to that. And uh, yeah, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.